In this video, I'm going to show you a blitzing concept out of the 335 odd that I am absolutely in love with. This concept is one of the best ways, in my personal opinion, to get pressure against things like trip set in or gun bunch or really any defense or any offense that you might face in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I do daily videos like this that help you get better at this game and to say that defense is a struggle would be a little bit of an understatement in Madden 22. It's really hard. And um, I played a game last night where I made a couple of mistakes that really um, kind of sealed it. And it's like you have to play mistake-free football on defense or you have to have a good blitz. And I think you have to have a little bit of both um, to be able to consistently get stops or at least force your opponent to have to work up and down the field uh, against you in Madden 22. So that being said, um, the three 3-3-5 odd defense, in my opinion, is the best defense or the most effective defense that you can use in this game to force your opponent to have to work. Now, the beauty of the big or the Baltimore Ravens playbook is it has all of these amazing sets like 245. It's got the 4-4, four, four, uh, which I really like for the red zone. It's also got the dime 236, 146, the quarter overload, which is a really good formation this year. And it's also got the nickel triple, which is a great defense in of itself. So it's got all of these other options in which you could go to if you need to in situations, but I prefer and love to play most of my games out of pretty much solely the 335 odd. Now, that being said, um, this blitz that I'm going to show you today is a very effective defense, but it's very important that you run this defense with base align on. Okay, I'm going to show you, you can actually run this both ways, but it's work. it works best, in my opinion, when you have base align on. So it's really good for defending things like gun bunch or bunch tight in or gun tight, where you can play zone coverage with base alignment, and it actually sometimes even helps the coverage out a little bit. So let's dive into the video. If you want to get my full 335 odd defense, we go through not only how to stop gun bunch, but also how to stop spread sets like trips tight in or U trips. Uh, we go over literally how to stop spread two by two uh we all we go over pretty much every ma major offense that you might see we pretty much go over a defense very specific to it and we also share with you how to get phenomenal pressure um this is one concept but we have at least 10 different blitzing concepts uh in the guide so a ton of material for you so if you want to get the guide there's a link in the description you can get it for just 15 bucks but let's go over this tampa 2 blitz out of nickel 325 odds so what we're going to do with this is we're going to base a line we're going to press coverage now you're going to see here that this is uh our cover two now the reason that i like this and, and if i was going to run this i would run this literally just like it is um one one other thing i i do want to mention is i did put the free safety inside uh package on that puts our free safety at the slot corner you can manually sub him out but what that does is it allows us to get additional adjustments for our safeties and corners in my personal opinion these are very important if you're going to be running a cover two base scheme because deep half zones are terrible i would highly recommend putting these safeties into outside thirds and then taking the middle linebacker here that we're taking a look here um levante david this guy on the middle linebacker on the right side and putting him into a middle third um, and this to me is, you know, a very effective coverage because you're going to basically be the guy that covers the quick slant or the quick crosser or whatever. Now, this guy's going to start there, so you don't have to worry about any snap throws. You're just going to be the guy that has to kind of ultimately take like a dig route or something like that. But the pressure is going to come in quick, and that's what we're kind of banking on with this five man blitz. So, what we're going to do is we're going to spread our linebackers, spread our defensive line, crash our defensive line down. And then, like I said, I like to base a line and I like to uh, show blitz. Now, when you show blitz, you're going to see that it's going to it's going to bring these linebackers back in. So they're a little bit more effective against the run. And then what it's going to allow you to do is if you take a look at this alignment from Winfield, he is going to be just outside of the slot corner. So when I blitz him, it's going to put him on an actual blitz angle. Now, if you want to QB contain, uh, you certainly can. Um, I don't really do that, uh, but we're going to go over this both ways. But anyways, you're just going to stand kind of right here with your user. Now, the whole idea with this is we know we're going to get good pressure from the left side. But take a look at what happens when we set this pressure up just like this. You're going to see here that you're going to get instant gap pressure from your defensive end on the right side. Now, um, the reason that's why I say it's much better when it's blitzed 
from base alignment because you you sometimes will get this this angle these two angles together will work really well together to kind of glitch out the ai so not only do we have that but again i like to stand kind of right in here which is basically perfect because now if the running back goes out on a route i can easily just kind of jump to the running back um now as you saw right there that time we got picked up and it's not a hundred again not a hundred percent consistent um i i would tell you that the beauty of this is found in the fact that we're only sending five Okay, we're not sending, we're not necessarily sending six. Um, but the other thing is, this is very consistent on this on this left side. So you see here, this is where we get that looper angle. This is ideal. So let me just show you the the slot corner, and then you're just you can put your user on a blitz if you wanted to. Um, but basically, you're just going to kind of hover hover right in here. And what you should see is you're going to get some looping pressure uh, from that right side. Now, let me do one thing real quick. Uh, Jason Pierre Paul's a little bit, in, at least in regs, he's a little bit on the slower side. In Mutt, you're going to have someone like a Montez Sweat or something there. So let me just kind of mess around. I think some of my pre-snap adjustments got my uh, my sh uh, my guys mess messed up a little bit. So let me fix that just real quick. Um, so that we get Shaq Barrett back out there because he's got a little bit better speed, a little bit better acceleration. So he's gonna he's gonna be a little bit more consistent. The faster the player you can have there, in my personal opinion, uh, the better the blitz is gonna be. And really, this blitz is kind of hinging on that left side guy um, being really effective and being really consistent because the right side guy is gonna be good, but he's not gonna be super consistent. He's the guy. He sets up everything for our opposite side. So anyways, that being said, you're gonna see here, here, now that I got Shaq Barrett in the game, we should be able to get that clean rush angle off that left eye edge. Now, if you're not getting the clean rush angle, um, what you can do is you can move Devin White uh, outside. So when we show Blitz, you're gonna see it pinches these guys. Just bring this guy kind of right in here. Uh, and just by doing that one little thing, you're going to see that we're going to get a little bit, uh, probably a major upgrade in terms of consistency. So you'll see here, just kind of do that. And there you see we get both edges. Okay. And that's the idea. So the reason this is so good um, is because what it's going to force your opponent to do is it's going to force them to have to basically block somebody, right? They're going to have to block somebody. Um, it's, it, it might be a, oh, I think I wasn't showing blitz. That might've been why I was getting a little bit of weird angles. Um, but anyways, so they're going to have to block somebody. Now, the guy that we want them to block is we want them to block their tight end because when they block their tight end, you're going to see here that this pressure is still going to have a really good chance of coming completely crank fleet or com coming completely free as you saw right there i blocked my tight end and the pressure came completely free this is the beauty of this five-man pressure and this is why i personally prefer um the nickel 335 odd to pretty much any other defense when it comes to defending the pass because of this amazing pressure uh that we can create so again you've got your outside thirds um and then you've got your pressure now, let me show you what happens if they block a running back. Now, when they block a running back, this is not the this is what we are going to lead them to do. Um, but let me just show you what it looks like. So now they're going to block a running back, and now what you'll see is we're still going to scream off the edge. So this is a five man pressure out of three three five odd that you're going to be able to send, and you're going to be able to force them to have to block seven. So let me show you the running back blocking one more time. What you're going to see is he's going to get confused as to who to block. So again, spread your line spread your linebackers. We're gonna crash our defensive line down and then we're just gonna base a line and show blitz. Blitz that slot corner off the edge and they're not gonna know whether or not you're sending you know, pressure or you're sending coverage because we've got other setups that look exact, exactly like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna block the running back and again, you're gonna kind of hover like right over this guard. This is really good for like run defense as well because you can just basically shoot in and get them. But here you see blocked running back. That time he picked us up but I think that was because my user uh, kind of got in no man's land. If you see the, if you see the, um, if you see the running back block like that, uh, and you're you're usering over here, just kind of like jab inside a little bit. I didn't do that right there, and that's probably ultimately why the pressure wasn't able to come in. So now you're going to see here running back blocking. Just take a little jab step, just like this right here. And as you can see, you know, we're, we're collapsing that pocket relatively quickly, if not just flat out coming completely free. So what this is going to do is it's really going to force them to be in a situation where they're not going to be comfortable in the pocket, right? They're not necessarily, I think, going to want to block 
you know, uh, seven. Uh, nobody wants to do that in this year's game. But they can't block. They definitely can't block their tight end. So they're going to have to block the running back. But the problem with blocking the running back is we've got a pretty good chance at still coming completely free. Um, and then we've we've also got really good coverage from this because we're only blitzing five. And we're also doing what I like to call a symmetrical blitz. And this is why I like these types of blitzes because a symmetrical blitz formula, uh, what that's gonna do for us is it's going to help significantly um, with your coverage. What I mean by that is if you take a look at the coverage, it's symmetrical, the same coverage on the right as the same coverage on the left. And so we're just basically usering this. That's, that's what it comes down to. So, you know, we have a lot of freedom. So if we see that running back block, we could just come over here and then lur lurk over here. And as you see, the more we come over to the right side, the better the blitz is going to be. So this is one of my favorite little defenses in the game. And the other reason why I like this so much is because I can easily pair this with a match Mac, with a max coverage uh, setup. For example, if I wanted to run some max uh, coverage, all I would need to do is simply drop that middle linebacker into the third, the deep third, and then I would just take circle there and put him on like a hard flat. And now I'm in a max coverage defense, right? I can cover pretty much the totality of the field uh, in terms of what the bunch offers. I could take the whole bunch side away and essentially have freedom to come over here and work with my user. So I absolutely love this defense. This is one of my favorites uh, right now for defending gun bunch because again, the pressure is not, again, it's not 100%. I'm not here to tell you that it's 100% consistent. Um, it is very consistent. Um, it is 100% consistent if they don't block a running back and it is 100% consistent if they don't, if they delay fade their tight end, which to me is well worth it. Um, it, it, it's well, it's well worth its weight because, because you, because now they, they can't, they can't play the delay fade deal. They can't play the delay fade deal. So they have to block the running back, right? And if they block the running back, there's a still a good chance that you're going to come completely free. You may get an instant shed, a good blitz angle, whatever, but you're not necessarily going to be super like vulnerable. Now, there's other ways that we can get instant pressure against the running back, which we're not going to go over that today. Uh, we do go over that in the defensive guide. So, again, if you want to get the defensive guide, there's a link in the description. Um, the other thing I would say is if you blitz your user, and again, just kind of stand like right here. This is going to help because you're going to see you're going to get these looping angles really, really nicely. And again, if you're a quarterback, this is great contained defense. They're not going to be able to get out of the pocket. Um, you can't double team as easily on this so if you're defending bunch tight end this is a great defense for that but anyways just wanted to bring you this pressure uh concept and again it's where, where it really makes its money honestly guys is is how good it really is uh against a delay fade if they delay fade it is going to be pro more than likely going to be an instant sack if they delay fade you're coming around that edge every single time they have to block their running back. And if they block their running back, to be honest with you, um, I'm, I'm kind of being a very lackadaisical with my user uh, in this example. So you're not getting like a great look in terms of like what my user could do to this. Because if I run down with my user, I just have to run down and run to the right just a little bit and you'll see that we're gonna get the pressure. So the, the reality is you're gonna get pressure with this if you can be a little bit more you know, just a little bit more aggressive with your user. But this is a phenomenal five-man pressure. I love this pressure. Um, kind of a sneaky pressure, kind of sneaks in on you. And they, ha they have to max protect. Now, uh, let me show you real quick. One last thing. Um, let me show you what this looks like if they do. So if they max protect, uh, I just want to show you what it looks like. So I'm just going to max protect my bunch, which no one will, I, very few people will do this. But if they do that, you're gonna see here, you're still gonna have a good chance at getting that left side guy around because the running back will dumb out to your user. I'm gonna show you one more time. So again, just base a line, uh, spread your line, spread your linebackers, and then just put your middle linebacker into a deep middle third and then blitz your slot corner off the edge, okay? So you, let's say they max protect. Well, again, you're just kind of splitting this difference here and then you're just going to run down into the right. Now watch the running back. See that right there? See how the running back came in just enough? There's so much happening inside the, the trenches. The running back will get confused from time to time, and that pressure will completely scream um, off the edge. Now, one thing you can do, and I said I, I, I meant to talk about this just a little bit more, uh, but I don't have too much time to go into this, but 
if we can tame, I did want to show you what happened, uh, what will happen. So if you contain on this, let me just block the running back. What you'll see is this contain um, will loop around. Okay, so the contain can help as well. I think that the per personal personally, what my recommendation would be to do would be to contain and then I would recommend to go ahead and globally ma or like manually re-blitz that guy on the left. So it basically looked like this. And then from there, send that heat off left. So this is kind of the perfect combination because now you're really going to mess them up. Like if they block, um, you're really going to be in a good position. You're going to see that contains going to, I mean, that's double edge pressure against a blocked running back. What more can you ask for? So this blitz is a lot of fun. It's really effective. It's really glitchy, to be honest with you. And I'd encourage you to mess around with it because this is going to give you opportunity to get pressure. And you're also going to have the opportunity to create a lot of creative coverages to slow down some of the gun bunch meta, which we've talked about some on the channel, and we talk about it a ton in the defensive ebook. So if you want to learn how to play incredible defense in Madden 22 and how to get stops in a game that's very difficult to do that, you can get my nickel three through five odd defensive guide. There, there's a link in the description. So all you got to do is go down, click that link in the description. It'll take you over to the website, and you can get the entire defense for just 15 bucks. Thanks for your support. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you guys next time.